I just called to say I love you. Do you have it? Yeah. Great. We have it. Great. Can I have it then? No. No, you can't. Why not? Well, it's sentimental, tacky crap. That's why not. Do we look like the kind of store that sells I just called to say I love you? Go to the mall. What's your problem? Do you even know your daughter? There's no way she likes that song. Oh, oh, oh. Is she in a coma? Oh, okay, buddy. I didn't know it was pick on the middle-aged square guy day. My apologies. I'll be on my way. Bye-bye. Fuck you. Nice, Barry. Really, really nice. It was just top class. Rob, top five musical crimes perpetrated by Stevie Wonder in the 80s and 90s go. Sub-question, is it in fact unfair to criticize a formerly great artist for his latter-day sins? Is it better to burn out than to fade away? Barry, I'm fucking broke, man. Jesus, he was gonna buy one record, which we didn't even have, and then leave and never come back again anyway. Not the point. What did he ever do to you? He offended me with his terrible taste. It wasn't even his terrible taste. It was his daughter's. Are you defending that ass muncher? Come on, Rob. You're going soft in your old age. Jesus, now all of a sudden I'm offending your golf buddy. I'm gonna tell you something for your own good, pal. That's the worst fucking sweater I've ever seen. It's a Cosby sweater. A Cosby sweater. Did Laura let you leave the house like that? Because, like, <laughs> hey, 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 what are you doing? Will you shut up? Uh, Will you? Break it up. You're a fucking maniac. I swear to God, if you tore this thing, it's vintage, and I'll fucking sock your nose. You'll pay big.